In this episode of the Average Table Top Gamers, we're going to be looking at the Campaign Market Garden book for Bull Action. Hello again. Uh, welcome to the Average Table Top Gamers. I'm Ben. I'm Sven. Today. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at the uh, new campaign book, the Market Garden campaign book for Bolt Action, uh, released very recently. Uh, so we'll be having a quick flick through the book and we'll give you our thoughts on this supplement, um, which I think was released in February this year. Um, I think it was released at the start of February this year. Yep. And of course is an add-on for the Bolt Action core game and this provides a bunch of scenarios and some extra rules and characters and units um, for the late 1944-45 period of the war, uh, namely Operation Market Garden, which is, of course, the push into the uh, Holland. Holland and Belgium and into the Rhinelands. Um, mainly British and US forces, there's obviously some German forces in there, but also introduces the Polish Airborne, and there's some rules in there for the Polish Airborne. So, it's a fairly decent uh, supplement. It's a fairly hefty supplement. It's 116 pages. Um, a it's good chunk of rules in there. Um, along with a really nice bit of history fluff. Um, so, it, it's as good as anything I've ever read on Market Garden. Um, yes. And it gives you a really nice insight into the, the planning and the, the actual operation itself. So, yeah, as you'd expect with the bolt action um, literature, the historical accuracy is almost as important as the actual gameplay details. Um, and so it does really give you a lot of variation to expand on your existing armies exa uh, if you wanted to. Um, as I say, if you're playing British Airborne, there's a whole bunch of British Airborne characters mm -hmm. in there. You've also got the Polish Airborne and some characters for the Polish Airborne. Yeah. Um, in the 116 pages, though, what's really impressive is there's 26 new scenarios for uh, bolt action, uh, many of which have got some nice little details in them, so there's some great ones. If you've got a lot of townhouse scenery, um, there's some great scenarios where essentially you're building just one terraced street and you're fighting across a terrace street like you would have been yeah. in and around the town of Arnhem, um, for example. Um, so there's loads of new scenarios to add into your games uh, with the accompanying uh, special rules around the scenarios yeah. that you, you're probably used to if you play ball action. There's also a whole host of new characters, as I say. There's a, a load of characters which you'll be familiar with if you've seen any of the films around the Mart of Garden, most famously... Uh, a bridge too far so you get um, Roy Urquhart that was the character played by Sean Connery uh, you get Digby, uh, Zabowski yeah so Zabowski who's Gene the Hackman Polish, Polish airborne figure uh, character Frost uh, which was the Anthony Hopkins character yeah they're, the they're all in there um, so they're all in there and they've all got special rules and they all just add that extra bit of flavour to your units there's also characters there for the US so uh, there's some Notable figures such as Dick Winters is included in there again, uh, and there's some extra rules and some extra characters for the Germans. Mm. Um, I've forgotten his name already. He's, a, uh, he's the Hauptsturmfuhrer who has a captured Humber, so there's a nice little bit in there about him. <laughs> um, in terms of supplements for games, it's 20 quid for the book, mm -hmm. which for, yeah, that's direct, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's twenty pounds. Uh, well, it's RRP is twenty pounds. So I got this direct from Warlord. If you get it direct from Warlord, you also get uh, one of their limited models, uh, which I'll just show you here. Hopefully, we can get it on the camera. And so the, the this model is entitled Never Surrender, and it's a nice model of a, an airborne, either British or Polish. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he's got his arm in the sling and he's lobbing a gammon bomb. Um, so I've got some British Airborne in a box ready to be uh, added into my bolt action forces. So he'll probably go. get painted up and used in in there somewhere. Um, so yeah, 20 quid. Total, I'm guessing it'll be around about the same price from wherever you get your your bolt action supplements from. Um, so the advantage of buying direct from Warlord is you do get that limited model. 
And I think for 20 quid, there's a lot of bang for your book in this book. Um, yeah, yeah, even just, you know, as, as a... As part of the Osprey series, you know, we we know that Osprey do really good stuff. It looks lovely, as, as you know, the, the, the production quality is always high with their books. Um, you do get a lot of information. Uh, the the new scenarios, each one's really interesting and adds a little a, a new little element. The characters as well. The characters add that new little element as well. Um, and it's it's really nice with with all of the bolt action stuff. Uh, to be able to play through those things that you may have seen on film or you may have studied at school or whatever, you know, you can play through those uh, through those games. Yeah, and we're looking forward to um, getting some of these games. Playing, we've got some of the other bolt action supplements as well to play through, and uh, I'd really like to see how these late war games mm. compare uh, because again, it actually changes the units in this period because. So the, the the German units changed because of, and it reflects the historical accuracy of the types of troops that were still fighting. Um, so the British and American troops are getting more and more uh, experience in the yeah. war. And the German troops at this point are kind of either uh, fanatical uh, dev uh, devotees or there's a lot of still the conscripted legions yeah. um, or basically the... Uh, the uh, and the affected numbers as well. Yeah, the numbers that they've got there. So you, you see that re reflected in the gameplay. So I'm very interested to see how this plays out and whether or not the historical accuracy has an effect on the gameplay in a positive or a negative fashion. But I think what we'll do is we'll play some of these scenarios and then... Um, do a follow-up. Do a follow-up on it once we've played it and we'll yeah. compare it to some of the other supplements that Bolt Action have got out and that we've also played. Yeah. Um, there you go. Uh, if there's anything... Uh, that you want us to focus on in future, any other games, systems, or, or the like that you want us to, uh, to, to have a look at, uh, pop it down there, put some comments on there, or hit us up on any of our social media channels, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, or any of the other things. We'll put all the links in the subject, um, in the details box on YouTube here, so you can get links to all of our Facebook and Instagram and Twitter uh, to check us out on there. Um, and I say just make sure you like, share and subscribe our content please and yep. we will see you very soon for more from the Average Tabletop Gamers uh, enjoy and good night <laughs>